Good morning, everyone. How are you this beautiful day? I'm Karen Jane Casey on the podcast, Turn to God with Karen. And every Wednesday, the episodes are Sword of the Spirit. In keeping with Ephesians chapter 6, we know that each day when we go out to face the world, we need to be dressed for success, wearing the full armor of God. And as we read about the full armor of God, we learn that the sword of the Spirit is our defensive weapon against our enemies, our adversaries who are attacking us. And that is the Word of God. So in this episode, we do cover passages in the Word for different topic areas. So as we started in January, we're on the series of God's Promises. Well, today's episode title is Play It Forward. Play it forward. What I mean by that title is as we reach out and comfort and help those in need in the same way that we've suffered, or maybe we're still in that place, then while we give comfort, we receive. We receive comfort. As we give, we receive. As we bless others, we are blessed. It's an ongoing cycle of love that comes from the Lord. He is the source of all good things because God is love and he is good. What passage could we look up today? How about 2 Corinthians 1 verses 3 and 4 in the New International Version? And the title is Praise to the God of All Comfort. I'm going to be reading that now. It's very quick. Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ the Father of compassion and the God of all comfort, who comforts us in all our troubles so that we can comfort those in any trouble with the comfort that we ourselves receive from God. I always like to look at another version when possible. Let's also look at the same passage in in, um, the English Standard Version. Again, that's 2 Corinthians 1, verses 3 through 4, titled, God of All Comfort. Just a little bit different wording, maybe easier to understand. Blessed be the God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies and God of all comfort, who comforts us in all our affliction, so that we may be able to comfort those who are in any affliction with the comfort with which we ourselves are comforted by God. Well, on the first mission that I participated in with women from our church and other local churches, it was to serve and love the women in shelters who had suffered from domestic violence or other abuses and financial hardships. Well, that was an area I was well educated in from the College of Hard Knocks. (laughs) I know you know what I'm talking about. I had the experience so I could truly understand their suffering how overwhelmed and stuck their minds and hearts might have been. And despite whether they were or were not out of their dangerous and toxic environment, these women could always sense that I'd been there, that I knew what they were going through. They could sense when someone is authentically relating to their their suffering. Generally, an outreach involves caring people to come to provide the physical needs to another person so that in those will be willing to receive spiritual love and care as well. So first they have to receive their basic needs, physical well-being, and then they are able to receive spiritual help. Always the intent is to share God's love for others, such as these women in shelters or from the streets. Because as you know, when you've been harmed, especially if it's been repeated over time, you tend to believe that nobody cares about your pain and suffering. You isolate yourself. And in that, there's a loss of hope and a loss of faith. They wonder, does God care? It's never a coincidence that the outreach happens, who it is sent to it or where they go. God always sends caring people who are equipped to bless those in need and to bring hope, faith, and love to their soul, just at the right time. Have you noticed it? 
Those that help others who are, for instance, alcoholics or suffering from other addictions, the people helping them usually come from a life of the same weakness or have had a loved one, loved one deep in it so they can truly empathize and understand. Well, I felt the call to write, submit podcasts and help reach out, especially to women who suffered from abuses, child abuse, domestic violence, and related crimes such as rape and abuse by toxic people. So I look at my life happenings, truly, what the enemy meant to harm me, even to steal, kill, and destroy me, as in John 10.10, 10, God intervened time and time again. He intervened. He used those experiences for good. And it was through God's grace and mercy that I survived it all. And that good was not only for myself, but for those I strive to encourage, to influence, and to build hope for healing while they walk their faith walk, their faith journey. Just ask people who have walked out of their pit of despair, which equip them to help others in the same way. Time and time again, that proves true. Are they thankful that God delivered them? Absolutely. Are they even thankful for their experiences so that they can now help others? I believe so. Most would give a resounding yes. They receive their calling through their suffering. So this message is clear. Don't give up or lose heart while facing your storms in life. Instead, pray, praise, and rely on the Lord. He is well able to make something good come out of it. He is your refuge, your rescue, your deliverer. When you turn to him, he will redeem you through the precious blood of Jesus. That is your decision. Don't focus on your problems. Focus on the Lord. God always has a good plan for your life, for your future. He promised to comfort you through your trials. And when you turn to him, having free will, then you then can play it forward and comfort others in the same way that he has comforted you. And all in all, it's a great cycle of blessings. You, bless, you are blessed, you bless others, you are blessed, you bless others. Now, praise the Lord. Well, please continue to join me in the series of God's Promises. I want to end this episode with this message. May the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God the Father and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. In Jesus' name. Thank you for joining me today. I hope that you'll join me every Wednesday morning for an episode of Sword of the Spirit with a podcast, Turn to God with Karen. And as you know, Turn to God with Karen has episodes on Monday morning, Hope and Faith Journey, and then Friday morning, Karen's Book Corner. This is Karen Jane Casey, author, speaker, podcaster, domestic violence, victim advocate, and ambassador for Christ. Please go to my website's contact page and send me your comments, your suggestions, any feedback is most welcome. And that is KarenJaneCasey.com. When you go there, you'll see my books, blogs, resource material regarding domestic violence, and so much more. Well, thank you, and God bless.